Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 channel. And on Windows 8.1, we have a new feature that was not on Windows 8. They uh, added a feature called Adaptive Brightness. If you have a laptop computer, if you have a, a tablet that runs Windows 8.1, you might have noticed that sometimes your screen seems to dim or on other occasions seems to come brighter depending on what you are doing. Uh, it is sometimes annoying, it's sometimes helpful, but I prefer having the manual brightness adjustments uh, rather than the uh, really automatic brightness that Windows 8.1 tries to uh, figure out. The way it works is that on some apps it actually boosts the uh, brightness uh, automatically and when you're on the start menu sometimes it will lower the brightness so depending on what you're using. Uh, during the daytime is not too bad but I noticed that at night time it's annoying because sometimes I will click on my web browser get to the Google page and suddenly uh, it comes brighter and even too bright at some occasions I would say. Uh, so even though that you play with the settings and try to adjust yourself to brightness manually with uh, your computer, you'll see that it comes back to the default automatic settings when you uh, use the different apps. So where do you change that? It's really, really sent somewhere very deep in Windows 8. Unfortunately, they should have put it kind of, you know, easier to find. Uh, to change or remove the auto brightness settings or maybe you want to enable it so if, if you don't have it and you want to enable it uh, just follow and choose the right option when you're at the um, uh, adaptive settings so you go into your charms bar on the right side on your start menu by swiping uh, from um, the right side of the screen or if you don't have a touch device go into the corners with your mouse click the search type control to get control panel and click on control panel. There you will have the control panel. If your panel is in the category settings, uh, click on the upper right and get icon settings, the large icon or small icon depending on the size you want. There you will go into the power options. So I'll click on power options which is on the left side of my screen here. And there you'll see your settings, your recommended setting for your laptop or tablet. Click the change the plan settings right to the um, same level of the one that is actually checkmarked. Or you see that there's this little black dot, it says balance recommended. That's the one I'm using. If you have any other setting, just go right next on the right side to change plan settings that is on the same level as the one that is actually used at this moment. Then go into change advanced power settings on the same screen and there you'll see a um, little box where there's different options and here you will have in the different options one of the options that's called display. Click the little plus sign on the left side of the word display. It's going to open up a few more options and there you'll have enable adaptive brightness. Click once again the little plus sign right next to it and you'll see on battery and plugged in. Uh, one of the reasons for adaptive display settings is battery users so if you're on your laptop using the batteries what's cool is that when it senses that you're on the uh, start menu and stuff like that it dims the display meaning you'll have more battery life so on battery um, I would probably leave it on but if you plug in that's where you might want to leave it off if it annoys you anyway just put it off everywhere and just click on the little on and there you'll see a choice of off or on so plug it in off and on battery I'll leave it on but I might want to change it so let's just put both of them at off and I'll see if I want to change that as I use 
mostly uh, the b the brightness of my laptop manually as it's very easy to access on my computer with the little brightness buttons on my Toshiba. So once you've put that at off to turn off the adaptive brightness just click apply and click OK. From now on your screen is now locked to a brightness, a fixed brightness that you set yourself so depending on what you do you just uh, choose the brightness that you want either with the laptop keys you can also adjust the brightness on some computers if you have a laptop or tablet with the brightness settings. Uh, one of the questions that comes very often is people say, well, I don't have that brightness adjustment. When I go here, it's grayed out or I can't use it. How come? Well, if you have a desktop computer, remember one thing. The brightness is not set by your computer. It's going to be set by the screen. So look at your screen. There's going to be controls or little buttons sometimes it's not easy to see because the buttons are touch sensitive buttons on the bottom of the screen or on the side so look at your screen and you should have a brightness adjustment right there on the screen if you have a desktop but if you have a laptop or a tablet this option of brightness should be available to uh, change brightness um, as you see here if I dim it down or I just put it back up to where it was so I hope you enjoyed the video and it helped you uh, either remove or maybe add the uh, auto adaptive brightness settings in Windows 8.1. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. You'll know when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like the video so that we can uh, have even more people uh, coming to our channel and um, learning more about Windows 8. And if you have any comments, question, maybe a video of some feature you'd like us to make, let us know. We'll try to put that video online. And if you have any um, maybe apps that you'd like us to review also in the Microsoft Store, let us know. We'll try to make that video also. So thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.